This is the Energy Observer, the first autonomous hydrogen boat to sell. Starting life off as a racing catamaran, the Energy Observer has been adapted to use a mixture of solar, wind and wave generator power to complement its hydrogen generating technology. The hydrogen technology works by eliminating the ions and salt from the water of the ocean and breaking them down into hydrogen and oxygen, which are its base elements. This hydrogen is then stored in tanks until it is required and used as a fuel. As a supplement to the hydrogen, there are also wind turbines and solar panels to run the ship. The motivation behind the boat's creation came from when its developer, Victorian Urasad, was racing his boat across the Atlantic and suddenly ran out of power. Sails kept the boat moving, but it relied on an engine and generator to keep the electronics running. It also temporarily lost its autopilot and its navigation systems. So Victorian came up with the idea to create a ship that uses different sources of energy. Energy Observer is now a veritable experimental platform for future energies, with a combination of three sources of renewable energies, sun, wind and hydrokinetic, and two forms of storage, batteries and hydrogen. On the sides of the boat are the ocean wings, which are going to reduce the vessel's energy consumption, accelerate its speed, and above all, enable it to produce energy and hydrogen while navigating. Plus, almost every horizontal surface on the catamaran is covered with solar panels, about 1,400 square feet of them. Some of them are even on a suspended deck that extends to the sides of the vessel. And there are even bifacial panels, which generate power from direct sunlight, as well as light reflected off the water below. And finally, there are two vertical wind turbines at the rear of the boat, which add to the power production. When the sun is shining or the wind is blowing, it stores the bulk of excess electricity generated as hydrogen gas. The H2 is stored in eight tanks, which can hold up to 137 pounds of compressed hydrogen. When that energy is needed, the H2 is run through a fuel cell and recombined with oxygen from the air to create electricity, with water as a byproduct. The boat and its crew are on a six year journey around the world, making stops in 50 countries all around the world to show off the boat and talk about what it's capable of, with the final goal of successfully finishing the entire trip solely on the energy generated by the wind, waves, sun and hydrogen without the use of any fossil fuels. By undertaking this autonomous world tour, Energy Observer is demonstrating the performance of hydrogen to companies and decision makers in order to promote its large scale deployment in the decades to come. If this voyage is successful, it could answer a lot of questions and resolve a lot of environmental problems in the near future. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.